<laughs> angle sum property of a triangle. Let us see how we can use the angle sum property of a triangle in a number of ways. For this, consider the following examples. The first example is two angles of a triangle are 40 degrees and 70 degrees. Find the third angle. In the given figure, let measure of angle A be equal to 40 degrees and measure of angle B be equal to 70 degrees. We have to find the measure of angle C by angle sum property of a triangle. Measure of angle A plus measure of angle B plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. That is 40 degrees plus 70 degrees plus measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Or measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees minus 70 degrees. Or measure of angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 110 degrees. Therefore, measure of angle C is equal to 70 degrees. Let us now solve the second example. One of the angles of a triangle is 50 degrees, and the other two angles are equal. Find the measure of each of the equal angles. Let the triangle B, PQR, in which measure of angle P is equal to 50 degrees, and measure of angle Q is equal to measure of angle R which is equal to x. Then, by angle sum property of a triangle, 50 degrees plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees. Since measure of angle P is equal to 50 degrees and measure of angle Q is equal to measure of angle R which is equal to x, Thus, 50 degrees plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees. Or, 2x is equal to 130 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to 65 degrees. Thus, measure of angle Q is equal to measure of angle R is equal to 65 degrees. Now consider the third example, which is the three angles of a triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. Find all the angles of the triangle. Classify the triangle in two different ways. Let the three angles of a triangle be x. 2x and x. By angle sum property of a triangle, x plus 2x plus x is equal to 180 degrees, or 4x is equal to 180 degrees, or x is equal to 180 degrees upon 4. That is, x is equal to 45 degrees, and 2x is equal to 90 degrees. Hence, the three angles of a triangle are equal to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 45 degrees. There are two different ways in which the triangle can be classified, that is, Right angle at triangle. Because one angle is equal to 90 degrees. And 
isosceles triangle. Because two angles are equal, and hence the opposite sides are equal. Using the angle sum property of a triangle, let us discuss whether we can have a triangle with two right angles. Now the sum of two right angles is equal to 180 degrees. Hence, according to the angle sum property, it is not possible to have such a triangle with two obtuse angles. The sum of two obtuse angles is greater than 180 degrees. Hence, this case is also not possible. With two acute angles. Here, the sum of two acute angles is less than 180 degrees. Hence, it is possible to have such a triangle with all the three angles greater than 60 degrees. Here, the sum of three angles will also be greater than 180 degrees. Hence, this case is also not possible. With all the three angles equal to 60 degrees. In this case, the sum of these angles is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can have such a triangle, and this triangle is called an equilateral triangle. With all three angles less than 60 degrees. If all the three angles are less than 60 degrees, then their sum will also be less than 180 degrees. Hence, it is not possible to have such a triangle.